Bet you guys didn't know this, but I love animals. In fact, when I was in high school, I used to volunteer at my local zoo. You know, believe it or not, they actually had me circumcising elephants. The pay was <laughs> so the tips were huge. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's talk about some bearded animals today. I uh, do love animals. That's why I got a little bit of the lion's mane going on today. Let me uh, introduce you to a couple cool ones that are rocking the facial hair follicles. Come with me. All right, let's get started with the basic, the basic beard o's, the ones that all you know about. And, uh, you know, should they make the list? I, I, you know, they'll make the list. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about the dogs. You guys know the schnauzer, the little yappy dog. Uh, the standard schnauzer is less yappy, it's beautiful, beautiful animal, but the little ones, they can be a little nappy, but they're great dogs nonetheless. Bearded collies, I mean bearded's in the name. Collie, it's got long flowing, not just facial hair, but long flowing hair everywhere. Man, that thing is just frolicking in the winds. Everyone loves a bearded collie, right? Speaking of dogs, how about that uh, breed Barbette? Does that have a beard? No, it's, uh, I'm tricking you. Cause what I'm talking about is the bearded Barbette, which is a bird. And it's got like this glorious feather neck beard kind of popping out at that. It's just like this black little beard and it's just like, the beaks over here and going all crazy. Man, the bearded barbette. We're talking like beards in the bird kingdom. Man, I got another bird for you that is unbelievable. Now this unbelievable bird, it uh, it's my favorite, man. I'm gonna put it on a beard brand totem. I think it like just, it just radiates coolness. And it's the bearded vulture. Now hold your horses. If you're from America, you've probably never heard of the bearded vulture before. It's actually quite common over in uh, Asia and uh, what's it called, Europe. It's got a pretty wide span in territory. Now the bearded vulture isn't like your typical vulture. It doesn't have that, that bald head and that kind of weird neck and looking all crazy. It is actually looking a little crazy. It's got a little bit of beard coming over its beak like that. But here's, the, I'm gonna throw some bearded vulture facts at you because this bird's freaking amazing. It's wings, the wings are like nine feet wide. It's a huge bird. You know what it eats? It eats turtles, but more than turtles, 70 to 80% of its diet is bones. It's just down on bones. It's got a stomach that's so acidic, it's got a pH balance of one. Can it even go any lower than that? Ha, what else does this bird do? Hey, get this, it will find the reddest soil that it can find, and it'll start like fluffing this, this soil up on its wings and its chest and uh, the white feathers will turn red like blood from their enemy. And then you get this almost like phoenix looking bird. It's absolutely phenomenal. The coolest bird in the bird kingdom, whatever that is, is bearded vulture, high up on this list of bearded animals. Now no animal beard list would be complete without throwing in the icons of animal beards. And these are the animals that actually had beard styles named after them. So you guys know the mustache, the walrus mustache, well, the walrus got that big old, big old little whisker, little whisker mustache going on. Now it's a little bit thinner and more sparse than me, and and uh, walrus is not as, f you know, fit as me. He's got a little more blubber, but you know, icon, icon. Speaking of icons, right below the mustache you got your goatee, and uh, of course, goatee is named after the goat. You got the goat growing a little bit of chin hair down here. Goat's got uh, rectangle eyeballs, but you didn't know that. Now. Humans are the greatest of all the great apes, absolutely, primarily because of our abilities to grow fantastic facial hair follicles. Now, there are some other apes and monkeys out there that grow some great facial hair follicles, so let's talk a little bit about them. First is up, the bearded emperor Tamarin. The bearded emperor Tamarin. Man, this guy, uh, this guy or girl, I guess, they grow, uh, Whoo, beautiful white mustaches. Man, look at that. Look at the curl on that, man. That thing is just absolutely glorious. You talk about an animal that can grow great facial hair. I think this animal might be up there. It is one of the most beautiful looking mustaches in the animal kingdom. In fact, I bet you uh, may even one up us in our abilities to grow some mustaches. How about that? Now still in the monkey category, we got the howler monkeys. Now, uh, they just kind of got like a full nice shape head, kind of a beard. It's, 
you know, like maybe a little bit more on the neck beard kind of side of things. Their face kind of protrudes from it. But it is, in my opinion, a pretty nice full shape, well looking beard. I don't know. Howler monkeys. Woo -hoo -hoo! Now, in the great apes, there are, let's say it, facially hair challenged animals. You know, we're talking the gorilla, can't grow nothing. Chimpanzee, can't grow nothing. Bonobos, can't grow nothing. But you know what can grow something? The orange tan. The orange tan, yeah. Better known as the orangutan, that thing will grow a glorious red facial hair. Red, I mean, this whole body is red. And then it's got some like big old uh, moon shaped face for the dudes. Uh, but on those dudes is a great, great beard and mustache. So I would put it up there as just slightly behind us humans. In fact, the orangutan could probably grow some better facial hair than some of y'all out there, but that's okay. Don't lose sleep over the fact that an animal that's orange as can be with a round face can grow better facial hair than you. Just take comfort you grow what you got. Let's talk about the ones you probably didn't even think about. They're all around us. Talk about little insects. Does some insects got beards? You know, I'm going to give this one uh, is one of the most common animals out there. All you guys know, it's the furriest little mother effer around. It's brr, the old bumblebee. If you get a really good macro lens, get all up in that, uh, get all up in that bumblebee face. You'll notice it's got a little bit of facial hair going on there. I mean, the whole thing's furry. It's furry everywhere. But you get up on that face, it's got a little beard. I'll give it. I'll give it an entry into the category, but the bearded insect that really takes the cake with beards is none other than the bearded weevil. Oh, I knew you were thinking. You're like, Eric, I knew you were going to say bearded weevil. Everyone knows about the bearded weevil. I mean, this thing's got a little proboscis. Pro, pro, proboscis? A little proboscis with a little bit of hair. I mean, this is like legit hair. This is like nice flowing golden hair. I mean, if you were going to grow facial hair and you were an insect, the bearded weevil was going to be the animal of all animals for you to aspire to be. Now, I wanted to wrap this video up with some honorable mentions. They got beards. In fact, they even got beards in their names, but they're, they're not like beards. They're just kind of like, you know, they kind of like just like uh, the things grown out of their face. Not like, like hair type of things. And we'll get started off with the bearded dragon. I mean, the bearded dragon, first of all, you're not even a dragon. And you don't even have a beard. You just got kind of like little points coming out. Uh, but everyone loves bearded dragons. If you like Google bearded whatever, then uh, bearded dragon is going to come up. You know, we've talked about a lot of animals. We talked about insects. talked about lizards. We talked about birds. talked about mammals. What are we missing? What are we missing? Well, I think I saved the best for last because what we got here... The bearded scorpion fish. Woo! Bearded scorpion fish. I mean, how many levels of awesomeness can you get in a name? I mean, you got bearded, which is automatically an A+, which is similar to a lot of these other animals. But scorpion, ho! Oh, I mean, and then look at this thing. I would not want to mess around with this fish underwater. They look mean. They look like they're going to eat something. And they're a little, little like, uh, f flakes of fish skin or whatever is growing down there. I, I, you know, I could call it a beard. I could call it a beard. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite bearded animal? Hope you enjoyed a little bit uh, of fun, friendly, facial hair related content. As always, Eric Banholtz. Cheers. Keep on growing. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.